Hey guys, Ian here. I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to be talking about... Let's see. Universal Yums. If anyone doesn't know what Universal Yums is, it's basically some... Basically, they send you snacks from, like, states like China, China, Afghanistan, Argentina, China, Japan. It's, this is basically where they send you a box each month of snacks from states. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna post, um, I'm gonna type in the name of what this is from. I haven't opened this. This one's still sealed. Yeah. So I forgot how much these are worth, but I but I do remember a uh, recall that they send you each of these snack boxes each one day a month. One day a month. I don't know what day they come, but I do know a fact they do come one day a month. And this is a surprise because I haven't opened this one. Hopefully it's something different. I've been basically doing this for about a year. Uh, since. Yeah, I think I remembered I'd pay like 30 bucks or something for these type of Universal Yum box things. 30 bucks, I forgot how many months, but you know, it's been a year. I'm surprised it's been a year since I've actually, you know, done this. You know, yeah, it's been a year since I've actually done all these. I got some... Some from China, Japan, Turkey, Russia, any of those. I hope this one's different, but if it's not, it'll still be good. I'm, I haven't tried their snacks before. Better be good though. I like, yeah. yeah. Sealed the sides too, prevent from damage. Okay, Pakistan. Pakistan. Surprisingly, I've never tried these. Yeah, I've never tried Pakistan. Something new. Hope you guys can see that. And in the back, it says the instructions of what you think of it about the food and, you know, all that. Let's try it. Let's see what I can try. I'm going to save the, save the good stuff. To be honest, I put these um, this universal box in the freezer because I was thinking there would be chocolate in it. There's not much. I'm, I think there, wait a minute. Yeah, there is. This is chocolate. I could tell it is chocolate. I'll save the candy stuff for last. And I'm going to eat the chips and stuff. And I'll tell you what I think of it and what I give it. I've tried wafers. They're awesome. But let's try orange after all this. Good thing I got... An extra, I got one of these too. And here's the booklet. Yep, the booklet. Oh, box, keep one of these things in there. All right, let's try spicy potato. Curlies. Curlies or Curlies. Curlies. Snack City. Yeah, Snack City. Smells like, looks like hot Lay's or hot Ruffles. I 
It tastes like dang ruffles. It tastes like ruffles almost, except a little spicy. I give it about seven or an eight. It's definitely seven, eight out of ten. So that's very good. Definitely a good snack. I like it. Next, uh, I don't know if the, this is a ramené or what. Does anyone can tell? Can anyone tell me what this is, or is this all translated? Sorry, I don't know what this says. Pa I know it's Pakistan. It could be type of type language that they speak in in Pakistan. All right, let's try it. Wait, let me see if I can open it. Nothing. I'm gonna have to since I can't open this can't I can't open this. I'm gonna just use this. Ooh, nuts. Yeah, these are cashew nuts. They're average. Half. I give it an average, so five. Yeah, or half. It's, it's not good. It's not bad. It's, in fact, I've had these similar things here before. They're called chess mix. <laughs> Just kidding, these are not chess mix. But they're good. I like them. Maybe I could give it a little higher than that. I'll give it the same on the chips. So about, yeah, seven or an eight. Yeah. Potato sticks. Oh, I'm afraid these will pop. Don't pop on me. I've had that happen before, trying to open chips and they <laughs> pop and all the chips splurry out. Doesn't smell right, but let's just see. different. Actually, I've had these before, except they're not really these. These. I've had similar chips like these before in soup. It's surprising. Sometimes when I eat this stuff, I don't like the smell. but I like the taste. It's about the same, maybe a little less. I would give it seven. I give it seven. Now let's try these. These are cookies. Don't know if they're ginger cookies or not, but they're cookies. And there's a language I can't speak in the back, but that's okay. I know. Hmm. Pakistan. Wow.
I don't hate it. It's it's about a six, seven. It's not yeah, it's not anywhere near a ten. No, it's not anywhere near a ten because it's I feel like doesn't it feels like it should be ginger cookies. I feel like these should be ginger, not whatever these things are. Zira. They're okay. Not the best. They're okay. They're they're good. At least they're cookies. At least it's at least they would never make a vegetable cookie. Yeah, I don't want any vegetable cookie. I'm going to finish this off. Hot gummy candy. I'm gonna save that later because it's a little hard. Wafers? Time to try out. Orange wafers. I like it's I'll just try one. I'm going to just try one. Damn, these are good. I like orange. It has a sweet taste to it. Back in the day, I used to not like Airheads that are flavored orange. Now I like it. Now I even like these orange, very tasty and sweet. Definitely about a nine, nine out of 10. Maybe I'll give it a 10, I'll give it a 10. It's a good one, it's very good. I would highly recommend if you guys like orange and wafers. I'm gonna save this. I do have candy, but I'll save that later since it is still frozen. Rights look like a rip off of Oreos. If you can call it Oreos. <laughs> it's good though, I, or I hope it is. Let's try it. I'm gonna try one. Wow. Now these cookies are pretty unique. I have to say that it, it actually does look pretty unique. Oh, that's, I've never really seen a right cookie before. It says it's lemon flavor, so let's try it out. Hey, that's good. Imagine tasting lemon Oreos. It's almost like that. It's good. I definitely would give it a sharp ass 10. Yeah, 10. I'm giving it a 10. It doesn't really rip off your Oreos. I'm not going to refer to that. I'm not making fun of it. Yeah. It's a good snack. I like it. These are good. Good thing I have an extra in there. So, I really recommend these rice, rice cookies. This is candy, I know. But it's chocolate. I'm used to chocolate that's frozen. How ironic. They posted the expiration date on the front of the thing. Sonnet. Or, yeah, Sonnet. Yeah, Sonnet.
Okay, now that I look at this part here, it's telling me that it's caramel. Not nuts. It's the only one I have in there. It's a 10. It's a 10, definitely. I'm putting it at a 10. I like this. Tastes like some type of candies that I've had in the past, you know. It's definitely good. Sort of like a caramel, but nuts are embedded in it. They're good. They're good. Definitely very good. This is what they called if you guys are in are in Pakistan. I want to finish this. <laughs> I like it a lot. Open these are a, open these opening these type of bags are pain in the ass. Unless you have scissors. <laughs> I'm finishing this off. Juicers. Try this out. These look like fizzy. Don't know what it smells like. I give that a 10, definitely. It definitely gets a 10. Very sweet, sweet, tasty. Not something to crunch with your teeth. It's something to let melt in your mouth, like suck on it. Yeah, these are suckable type of candies. Don't chew on these with your teeth. These will definitely damage your teeth if you do, like, crunch on them. They're good. I like it. Definitely a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But if you don't have the patience, guess you would have to crunch on it. Toffee. Milk toffee.
tastes like an average toffee. Nothing wrong with it. Pretty good. I would give it less than 10 out of 10 though. Because they're all the same, I've tried every single one I can get my hands on. It's about an 8 out of 10, but it's good. It's definitely good. Let's try out the meat. Charms. Not Lucky Charms. Charms. Boy, does that look sugary or what? Feels like a gummy bear too. Feels like those type of sh sugary candy that's juicy like that. That's like a gummy bear. Dang. These are awesome. These are definitely very good. I give it a little one percent higher than these, than uh, than these toffee. I give it a nine out of ten. It's incredible. Now we got. Are these really hot? Because they're called uh, hot gummy candy. Let's try it out. Just hope this video doesn't cut out because of the storage I'm using. Not as hot. Not as hot. I guess they failed with the heat and the gummy stuff. Unless I've tried ginger candy, but this is not ginger, this is hot. Hot. It's called hot gummy candy right in the package. But it's good. It's it's not 10 out of 10 though. It's more like a 7 or 8 out of 10. Definitely good. Yeah, it's definitely very good. Little hotness in it. Not joking. There is a little hot in it, but it's not super crazy hot like like a ghost pepper. <laughs> okay, guys. Um that's it. So if anyone wants to know what what the Universal Yums is, go to universalyums.com. And I believe I paid 30 bucks for to get one one every one month. So if you do happen to you know purchase one of these, I highly recommend cuz it's trying something different, you know. Feel free to give it a like, give this video a like comment, subscribe, anything good for me, anything good to help me out with doing stuff. I, I'm going to be posting every Friday. Don't know what time, but I will do it every Friday. Well, see you guys later. Bye.